We will explore how to create a complex surface milling cam strategy in Autodesk Fusion. And this is part of activity 236, Cam Strategy Practice Part 2. We're going to change from the design workspace to manufacture. For our setup, we will set up a stock box point in the lower left corner. And on our stock, we'll do a relative size box with no additional stock. Select OK. We will generate a 2D pocket operation to mill the top portion of our lid. We will select a half inch end mill to do the operation. We'll move over to the geometry tab. We'll select the bottom of the pocket on the top of the lid. We'll move to the Heights tab and ensure that our heights are set correctly. For the bottom height, we will choose Selection and choose the bottom of the pocket. We'll now move to the Passes tab. The maximum step over should be set to 0.25. If not, go ahead and change that value. We are going to uncheck the stock to leave option and open and check the multiple depths. Maximum roughing step down should be set to 0.25. And with those set, we're going to select OK. Emulate the pocket. Notice how because of the large size of the end mill, there's some stock that is left to be machined. Let's change our tool by editing, selecting now tool number three, which will be a quarter inch end mill. And select OK. Let's simulate this tool path. And notice how our stock is now completely milled. Select Exit Simulation. In order to continue to machine the complex surface around the pocket, we're going to go to the 3D panel and we will select the Morphed Spiral option. For here, we will choose a 3 8 inch ball nose end mill. This will be tool number six. Select. For the geometry, notice how the silhouette and tool center will be selected. For the heights tab, we can go ahead and set everything as the default. And for passes, we will change our step over to a value of 0 0.05. Select OK. Notice how the more spiral will show the toolpath. If we simulate the toolpath, notice how the top of the pocket is also included within this operation and around the machining. Select statistics and note the machining time. Select exit simulation. Right click on the morph spiral toolpath and select edit. On geometry, instead of silhouette, select selection. For the machining boundary, select the outside rectangular surface of where the machining will start and also select the oval shape to where the pocket creating a boundary. Select OK. Notice the tool chain and simulate.
Notice the time on the machining time has been reduced to 9 minutes and 21 seconds. Exit the simulation. One more thing we can do to try to reduce the machining time. Right click on our toolpath, select edit. On the passes, select the step over and increase from 0 0.05 to 0 0.07. Select OK and simulate. Check the statistics and note how the machining time has been decreased to 6 minutes and 55 seconds. Continue to, to work with some of the settings within Fusion to be able to experiment and see what kind of machining changes you can make in order to optimize your machining strategy and machining time on the CNC mill. This finishes how to create a complex surface cam strategy in Autodesk Fusion as part of Activity 236 Cam Strategy Practice Part 2.